Hey there, and welcome to this very special launch. Now, I know you guys have been waiting for the Poco M3 Pro for a long time. In fact, not just that, you've been waiting for the first 5G phone from Poco for quite some time. But before we get there, I have a couple of key announcements. Now, of course, we all know we've been working from home for a long time. So I am recording this from my home and coming straight to yours. Uh, and we would have thought this entire COVID business would have kind of slowed us down, would have made us more patient, but clearly not. Uh, but one thing we were very mindful of, you know, when you had to take care of your loved ones, the last thing we wanted you to do is to go out and try and get, you know, if there was a problem on a Poco phone, to get that fixed. So in May, we made this announcement and that's applicable for all Poco phones. If your warranty was expiring in May or June of 2021, you automatically get a two month warranty extension so that you don't have to worry about fixing your phone and you can focus on the things that matter more. Now, not just that, we had another really exciting announcement. Uh, and uh, this one came in from IDC. Now, IDC declared the quarter one industry numbers recently. And I'm very happy to share with all of you guys that Poco was the fastest growing brand in India. And this is incredible because we've just started last year. Uh, in fact, all of Poco's existence has been through the COVID pandemic, very tough times. And I'm really happy in that space, we've been able to really make a mark. In fact, uh, started last year in February with the launch of the Poco X2. By November, we were already the number three brand in online. And now to have grown 300%, we are all four times the size we were a year ago is remarkable. And what's also really cool about this is in the entire industry, we have perhaps the smallest portfolio of the lot. Last year, we only had five phones where you had a couple of other brands who launched almost 20, 22 phones. Now, our philosophy was we need to make it clear, simple for consumers, as well as give really good products rather than just keep pumping out products. We have the C series, which is a starter series. Uh, again, clean experience, but everyone else who wants to get started with their smartphone journey can experience that. Then we've had these incredibly powerful M series. So we had the M2, M2 Pro last year, uh, M3 earlier this year. Uh, and then, of course, all of you guys know the incredible X series, the flagship experience coming in without the flagship tag. And then there is a little question on the F series. But we will obviously talk about that in the coming months. Now, with this really small portfolio, we wouldn't have seen the success without you guys. Now, the Poco fans have been super important to us, or if I could say the Poco community. And that's why today, we are really, really happy to announce that we are rolling out Poco Community India. Now, this is going to be a platform where you can share your knowledge, get ideas, and of course, spread madness all around. And we are really excited to see what we will have uh, in the Poco Community over the next few months. Now, this has taken a little more time than we expected. You know, we started thinking about the community last year, but what we wanted to do was be absolutely sure that all your data is kept secure and your privacy is right at the top of our priority. And hence, really happy to share that the entire POCO community has been developed in India. All your data will be secure, kept in India, and this will be open to all POCO fans in the coming months. Now, why do I say that? Today, while we are launching the community, we are starting a beta test. We are going to select a few who we think are really going to be contributing to establish or build the POCO community for the next phase. And uh, these essentially will be kind of the founders of the community. So of course, don't miss your chance. If you are excited about tech and if you are excited about what we have to offer at POCO, but not just corporate announcements and of course the community, we've also got products. In fact, last time we all met was at the launch of the POCO X3 Pro. 
an incredible product with amazing performance. And at the time of launch, the X3 Pro was far more powerful than anything else in its class. Well, after that, we've seen a couple of launches, or we might see a couple of launches coming in in the next couple of weeks, some with a 750G, some with the 765 or a 765 overclock to a 768G. However, nothing even comes close to the Snapdragon 860 that you saw on the X3 Pro. For those who care about performance, gaming, multitasking, the X3 Pro continues to be the most powerful phone under 20,000 rupees. In fact, the X3 Pro is the most powerful phone under 20,000 rupees ever launched in the history of smartphones in India. And not just in India, we've had incredible reviews coming in from global reviewers and experts as well. Almost everyone who's had their hands on the X3 Pro has absolutely loved it and has been amazed and continues to be amazed with the performance that we've rolled out on the X3 Pro. And I'm obviously very happy about that because you know when we were talking about the X3 Pro, we wanted to get this everything you need, nothing you don't successor to the Poco F1. And with the X3 Pro, we finally have one. Now, X-Series has been absolutely incredible, but we are all here to talk about the incredible M-Series as well. Hey, Anuj. Hey, Raghav. We were just getting started on the M-Series and how incredible all the products have been. Perfect time for me to step in. The M-Series has been a stellar performance. Last one year alone, we sold more than three and a half million units. So oh, that's a huge number. I mean, if I if I were to take that number and probably just carve out the M series as a separate brand, I think it's going to be in the top ten of the country. I mean, M series has been that successful, and you know, it's not really a surprise. Uh, the fact that it was launched less than one year ago with the M2 Pro in July, followed up with the M2. And then, of course, earlier this year, we had the Poco M3, which was loved by everyone. The M3 is a crowd favorite. Launched in February this year, the first sale itself saw more than 1.5 lakh units fly off the shelves. In our first 45 days, we sold more than half a million units. And till today, it continues to be our best seller. You know, Raghav, those numbers aren't really surprising. I mean, if you look at the M3 and what all it offered, it had an incredible 6,000 mAh battery packed into just 197 grams. But that was obviously one part of it. It had a Snapdragon 662, it had a 48 megapixel camera, and of course, it's a Poco. It was a full high definition plus display, and that package made it almost irresistible. Not to forget uh, the incredible design. And with that, I think. It's probably time to go from M3 to M3 Pro. And that is my cue to go. And as you can see, we're continuing the legacy of the M3 by delivering absolutely killer looks looks that don't even belong in the mid segment and m3 pro it gives you exactly that but we've changed it a little bit we've actually taken the design language of m3 and gone a little bit more pro we are calling this a switchblade design basically this entire camera module gives you that hint of an iconic switchblade and it comes in three incredible colors what you have with me here is actually my favorite it's the cool blue now the same color names but of course a pro design coming in now apart from cool blue for those people who want a little more subtle look we also have of course the power black and this power black looks much better than any black out there so for those fans who want a black phone I don't think you can get anything better then the M3 Pro's Power Black. And then, of course, what we're looking at, you know, it's, it's a Poco device, it's a Poco M series device. 
you are expecting the Poco Yellow. Now, talking about design, it's not just about the good looks, it also has to be practical. And with the M3 Pro, a couple of really incredible things. One, we made it super light. It's just 190 grams. So you've shaved off even more versus M2 Pro or even the M3. But none of the practical aspects have been lost. So you still have a headphone jack up here. You still have an IR blaster. And of course, you have Konings Gorilla Glass protection. And we've taken it a little step further. I mean, it's not really a requirement, but every M3 Pro that ships out from Poco India will have another protective film pre-applied on every phone. So till you find a tempered glass that you need, or for those people who don't really need any protection, you can obviously peel it off. But till you find a third party tempered glass that you want to use, you have still some protection uh, to take you through. To sum it up, incredible switchblade design. You've got three colors, a cool blue, power black, and of course the Poco yellow. And yet being an incredibly practical device at 190 grams, you still get a headphone jack, you still get an IR blaster, you still get the Poco protection that you're all used to. Now, not just killer looks. When it comes to the M3 Pro, we're also going for mad speeds. When we were launching the Poco M3, we talked about something called the Performance Trinity. You see, the processor alone isn't good enough to deliver the performance that all of you guys need. It needs to be a trinity of a good processor, incredible storage, and of course, fast RAM. And with the M3 Pro, we're again checking the right boxes. Now, for the first time, we're using a Dimensity processor. So this is a MediaTek Dimensity 700. And this one delivers quite a punch. What you have is a processor that's based on seven nanometer technology. But beyond this, you're also getting speeds up to 2.2 gigahertz and of course an upgraded GPU. Now the seven nanometer process on the Dimensity 700 gives you a performance boost of up to 20%. But from an efficiency perspective, you're seeing almost a 40% gain. And it's not really surprising because seven nanometer is essentially a flagship grade process technology as well. You know, you've seen seven nanometer in the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865, or even the recently launched Qualcomm Snapdragon 870. And you're getting the same in the Poco M3 Pro as well. Now, another advantage of the seven nanometer process is when it comes to gaming. Now, I know all of you guys really care about gaming. And happy to share, with the Dimensity 700, you're also getting up to 30% improvement in efficiency with the GPU. Well, let's talk numbers, right? Now, M2 Pro had the Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G, and that currently scores at close to about 300,000 on Antutu. The Dimensity 700 on the M3 Pro is 330. So you're seeing almost a 10% boost in pure performance as well when it comes to Antutu. And the third leg of the Trinity, the performance Trinity is RAM. And here we are using the DDR4X RAM, which gives you performance and efficiency as well. You're seeing a pattern here, right? Which is efficiency across the board and power. So what you are getting is the Dimensity 700. Uh, you're getting the DDR4X RAM. And of course, we've not really forgotten about the storage. From a storage, you have UFS 2.2 on all variants. So that gives you a lot more read write speeds when you compare it with UFS 2.1 and of course much much higher compared to any device that might be running the EMMC 5.1. So Dimensity 700 with a 7 nanometer process giving you Antutu scores of 330,000 and above. You've got up to 6 GB of LPDDR4X RAM and you've got up to 128 GB of UFS 2.2 storage. And if you guys need to enhance that storage further, you've taken care of that as well. You can enhance it with an external micro SD card slot up to one terabyte. Now, I don't know if you can get one terabyte cards, but if you do get your hands on, the M3 Pro is ready for that. 
So that completes the performance trinity. But there's one more reason why we picked this set when it came to the M3 Pro. Or should I say M3 Pro 5G? Yes, of course we were talking about 5G. And this is the first 5G phone from Poco. Now 5G has been uh, a bit of a controversial topic, right? And I remember people asking us last year, are you guys going to do a 5G phone? And we said we weren't ready yet. Why have we changed our mind now? Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, earlier in May, we had this circular come out from the Department of Telecom. Finally, really happy to see that India is starting trials on 5G. This could mean that the 5G network rollout isn't really far off and this we think is the perfect time to get into the space. Uh, but it's still in test period, it is still trials. It's hard for me to demo the advantages of 5G to you uh, while sitting in Bangalore here. But I have a friend who we think can do exactly that. Let me just call him. Hey Angus, we are in the middle of a launch and we are launching the incredible POCO M3 Pro 5G. Awesome, I'm very happy to be here um, and I've actually got my hands on my own uh, M3 Pro 5G. So I'm very happy that to hear you guys are doing this launch uh, for all of our fans in India. And it's a pleasure for me to be here the very first time to interact on stage with Anuj, uh, with all of our India fans. So yeah, so how can I help today? Let's, let's start off with uh, what you do, Angus, for Poco. Oh, okay. So I'm actually the global spokesperson and also the product marketing head for Poco Global. Um, I think a so lot of our fans uh, on my Twitter page, especially our fans from India, I love. I always love to interact with them, um, and I always, usually I handle all the new products. So recently, I did launch the Poco M3 Pro 5G uh, on a global, roughly around a month ago. Um, so today, I'm here to assist you. Yes. So that's the second part of it, uh, because we couldn't really test out the 5G speeds in India. Wanted your help. Now you've got an M3 Pro 5G with you uh, and you've got a 5G network. Maybe you could run a speed test for us? Oh, of course. Actually, I'm gonna use this M3 Pro 5G right here to do speed test. Let me pull it up. Okay, so I actually have a speed test uh, app going right now and it's ready to go. Um, so let's actually get started. So right now, actually, I'm actually seeing speeds where I am right now, roughly about almost at, I would say close to, okay, it's climbing, around 800 megabytes per second uh, for download speed, which is really, really fast. And I've actually been using 5G for a lot of period of time for all my daily usage. And now for upload speed, we're hitting around 122 megabytes per second. Now that's actually shocking speed in general. And I think for me personally, on these test runs and using 5G on a daily basis, what I'm actually getting as a benefit is that I've never seen uh, the buffering circle when I'm streaming my videos on YouTube or on any other streaming platforms. Uh, everyone knows I'm a gamer myself, so I actually never experienced that much lag ever since I've jumped on 5G. So I think as the Poco M3 Pro 5G offers, it's a great accessible experience for all of our fans around the world and fans in India as well. Most likely to actually try this amazing technology out. It's, the speed is incredible. I mean, that's so 800 plus Mbps. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I get about 20 to 30 Mbps on my 4G network here. And I, I think I, I used to think that was pretty good. Uh, but this changes its things completely. It's, it's a whole new level uh, when it comes to 5G networks. Most certainly. I think 5G is most certainly uh, a big part of the plan for our future. Um, and also we want more devices to be 5G enabled. And so when 5G is ready, not just in, only in India, but all over the world, uh, we want fans to experience it right away. Sure. Thank, thanks a ton, Angus. Uh, thanks for showing us what the, the 5G network and hence the POCO M3 Pro 5G that can kind of hit those speeds on those networks. Considering that I've got you here, can I ask you for one more favor? Of course, shoot. Perfect. That's the right word I was looking for. Uh, see, the problem is, and I'm sure you would have heard about this, uh, in India, we've 
basically been hit pretty hard with the second wave of COVID-19. Uh, none of our team members have been able to go out and test out the camera. We were wondering, considering that you've been playing around with this device for some time, maybe you could tell us more about how good the camera is on the POCO M3 Pro 5G? Uh, so yeah, of course I can talk about the M3 Pro's camera setup um, and I'm happy to help for Anuj to explain how good this camera is. Now we do have featuring on the POCO M3 Pro 5G, we have a triple camera setup and this is a very solid camera system. So it's based around the all-purpose 48 megapixel main camera. That's just super easy to use. And we also have a depth sensor for portrait shots and a macro camera for those out of the world, different type of field shots as well that conquers media space. Now let's take a look at some of the sample photos. Now first we have the 48 megapixel and you can just see the immense details on this photo. Uh, we put some colors in there, some yellow and black and under the sun, under the sun in the bright daytime, the shadow on the model's faces, not making it too artificial, is very natural. And I need to make this clear. So all these sample shots I'm gonna show you are actually shot on the POCO M3 Pro 5G. Now we can also see another one that's shot by the 48 megapixel main camera. Now it's just really easy to sit, take these scenery shots, even when there is a model inside or it's pure scenery shots. The contrast between you know the bright and uh, the, sh the shadow and the bright uh, the brightness is actually on point. Uh, the, the model's face is very clear, and the quality and clarity is most certainly top notch in its own class. And for those fans who like to take night modes, um, we do support night mode, which captures the night the light very nicely, um, and it also brings out the contrast between the light um, during the night as well. And for your Instagram shots, right? We want our fans to look good on Instagram or on t their Twitter or Facebook. You also have portrait mode, which really brings out the overall details focusing on you while blurring out all the background. Uh, you're the star and the M3 Pro captures that moment. And lastly, we do have my favorite, personal favorite mode, uh, the macro mode. And I've actually seen some amazing macro shots uh, by our fans, shot from our other devices and I've seen them from my own Twitter uh, message box. So I really encourage everyone to try this. Uh, it's a great feature, it's very creative. You can do it anywhere, not just in the outdoors, but also at home with some very common subjects and actually you can uh, make it very interesting. Uh, so here we actually shot a very close-up shot of a metal object. So look at that contrast and look at that detail. It's very on point and it's very stunning. So that's all for some sample shots for the POCO M3 Pro 5G 48 megapixel. It's a great overall snapper and I heavily recommend everyone to go try it when you get the chance to. Thanks Angus. Uh, that was incredible. Thank you for showing us the capability of the 5G network and what POCO M3 Pro 5G can do in terms of speeds. And of course those incredible 48 MP AI cameras. Uh, those sample shots look incredible. We can't wait to get out and try those. As well. Well, thank you very much, Anuj, for having me uh, on this amazing launch. Um, during this period of time, I've had a lot of fun, and I'm definitely keeping close, uh, close eye on your launch as well. Um, and this is my very first time, like I said earlier, uh, being a part, uh, a part of the India launch. So I'm actually going to take a screenshot uh, to mem to keep my memories fresh. I wish all the fans in uh, India to be safe and well, and also all the best for the India Poco team uh, to have an amazing launch. Um, I'll be signing off, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Now, as you just saw, the cameras on the Poco M3 Pro were amazing. You saw some amazing images coming in, but you got to watch those images somewhere, and that's where the display becomes super important. At Poco, we've always focused a lot on the display especially the clarity that you expect out of every phone. However, when we look at the competition and all the devices that have launched, uh, not just last year, but even today, we continue to see things like this. Phones having HD display all the way to almost 20,000 rupees. Hey Mancho. Before you say something, I really need to say something. And I think it's high time that it should be said. I'm looking at smartphone launches week after the week and they are not changing. Let me take a simple example. 720p HD plus 
phones are still getting launched and at a price of 20000 rupees it does not make any sense why are brands kind of you know just protecting themselves with using marketing or clever words or just smart branding i think it's time for people to upgrade it is even difficult for me to say that this is an upgrade it is bare minimum today okay i just had to get this set out uh, i'm done thanks macho i guess okay uh well as you can see people don't really like hd displays uh and that's why at poco we take this really seriously happy to share m3 pro 5g will feature a full high definition display that means you're getting a 1080p panel which gives you extreme clarity now why do we focus so much on this because when you are comparing hd plus or 720p versus full hd plus or 1080p the difference is very clear in fact if you're watching a movie or looking at pictures uh, the pixelation on a hd plus display is quite evident especially considering most of the phones now have a largish 6 plus inch display and this becomes even more pronounced uh, when you're reading text what we are also cognizant of is the fact that you need a large display and that's why we are going with a 6.5 inch display on the m3 pro 5g on the m3 pro you get 91% screen to body ratio hence you're seeing less of the frame and more display uh, making it a lot more immersive what we've also done is ensure that you have a dot display that means the in display camera is a dot not a drop a uh, notch that most other competitors continue to have we think having a dot camera and a tiny dot makes it almost invisible to the eye especially when you're consuming content making the entire display experience a lot better for the first time on the m series we are introducing a 90 hertz refresh rate yes you've seen high refresh rates from poco on the x series so you know we know how to do these right but For the first time on the M series and on the M3 Pro, you're getting a 90 hertz full high definition display. It is also a smart display. That means not just 90 hertz; it can also do 60, 50, or even 30 hertz, depending on the content. Let me give you an example. If you're playing a video, say a 60 frames per second video from YouTube, display on the Poco M3 Pro will automatically adjust. 260 hertz match it with the video so that you don't really have any screen tearing and the video looks as good as it should be it plays the way it is supposed to be played if you are gaming then the display steps up and can go all the way to 90 hertz giving you a lot more smoother gameplay and ensuring that you're not missing out those frames in the middle which are at least in competitive games really really required and can make a difference between you getting a kill versus you getting killed now if you're seeing something which is probably static you don't need a 60 hertz you don't need a 90 hertz there it can actually drop down to say a 50 hertz or if you're just probably on social media you're scrolling and you stop there your display is smartly changed back to 50 hertz this really helps in another way right so you are matching the content but you're also saving battery life because your display driver and your display is not really pushing extra frames uh, or going for a higher frequency when you don't really need it what you also have is overall a lot more power efficient display than pretty much anything out there so what you have unfortunately for others is you have a full high definition display and we saw so many other brands having just a hd display and top on top of that you have a 90 hertz uh, refresh rate now some people or some brands have gone for uh, hd with 90 hertz and maybe a couple of them for a full hd with 90 hertz nice but none of them will offer you the smart display that you get on the poco m3 pro you've got a 6.5 inch full high definition plus 90 hertz display coming a fast refresh rate coming into the Poco M series for the first time but not just any fast refresh rate you've got a smart display it can do 30 50 60 or 90 depending on the content makes your content look good second 
saves overall battery life. On the M3 Pro, next to the cameras at the back and next to the flash, you will see one more sensor. And you might wonder what the hell is that sensor? Now this is a 360 degree light sensor. Well, most phones have a light sensor in the front. So for example, if you're trying to read something and there's light coming in from the back, uh, it'll brighten up the display or reduce the brightness if it's dark. However, there are a lot of times, suppose you're trying to take a picture of something which is really bright, right? And I hold it up, what ends up happening is that, that amount of light that's coming in, uh, your phone is not able to detect. So while you're trying to take that picture, your screen, because it's seeing a shadow on this side, could become very, very dark. This 360 degree light sensor ensures that it measures the light from uh, the front as well as the back and perfectly balances out your screen brightness. So your screen brightness is visible uh, and tuned to the overall conditions wherever you are and whatever you're trying to do, uh, making it truly unique amongst all the other phones that you find out there. Now, when you're looking at a full high definition display and all that power, I'm sure you must be wondering about the battery life. On the outset, you've got a 5000 mAh battery. And this is combined with a 22.5 watt charger that comes in the box. But going beyond just the battery numbers, what you have is a big battery combined with a smart display that can drop down all the way to 30 or 50 uh, hertz. And that also saves you a lot of power depending on what you're doing and that 7 nanometer flagship level process technology when it comes to the Dimensity 700. Now, all of these are helping you get more endurance than ever before. In fact, what you get is internally what we call the Weekend Wally battery. Essentially, easily two days battery and that's exactly what you need uh, from a device like this one. What it gets you is more music, more streaming time, and more gaming time. So overall, a lot more time for entertainment or productivity or however you choose to use the POCO M3 Pro 5G. To summarize the endurance on the POCO M3 Pro, you got a smart display technology, which basically matches the frequency of the display depending on what you're doing with it. So 90 Hertz for gaming, or 50 or even 30 if you don't really need that extra motion, maybe a static image or a, a 30 frames per second kind of a video. Now, along with that, you have a seven nanometer process, which is also saving overall battery life. And as we saw earlier, giving you a lot more efficiency uh, in your daily tasks. And on the third part, we've kept the 5000 mAh battery that you had on the M2 Pro hence extending the overall battery uh, to a whole new level. And that's all there is to the POCO M3 Pro 5G. Now, if I could summarize this, this amazing device has a MediaTek Dimensity 700. Now, it's a seven nanometer process based chip, but it also supports dual SIM 5G. And we just saw Angus do a demo of how quick 5G can be. Along with this, you've got a 90 Hertz smart display. You can go 30, 50, 60 or 90 Hertz. And of course, it is a full high definition plus display. Uh, it comes with UFS 2.2. So you have fast storage up to 6 GB of RAM, which is DDR4X. So you have a fast RAM as well. And this is combined with a 48 MP AI triple camera, giving you amazing images every time. You also have a Weekend Valley battery, which is a two-day battery and uh, rated at about 5000 mAh with 18 watt fast charging and a 22.5 watt charger in the box. We've not forgotten about the basics. You have an IR blaster, you have a headphone jack, you have a Corning Gorilla Glass. However, let's spend some more time just admiring the design on the M3 Pro 5G. Really killer looks on this across all the three color variants power black cool blue or the poco yellow overall i have to say this mad speed killer looks for those who are wondering how it compares to m2 pro 
which we launched last year and which is the first M series device. Well, from a Snapdragon 720G, you are looking at a MediaTek Dimensity 700. Now that, that was a 4G chip, this obviously supports dual 5G. But you're also getting a bump in terms of pure performance. From about 300,000 on Antutu, you're going all the way to 330,000 on Antutu. Uh, the 8 nanometer process technology based 720G gives way for a 7 nanometer based uh, Dimensity 700. The UFS 2.1 changes to UFS 2.2 and that lovely fast refresh rate. A 90 hertz refresh rate panel on the M3 Pro 5G versus the 60 that was there on the M2 Pro. But this 90 is more than 90 as we just saw. It's a smart display capable of doing 90, 60, 50 or 30 to match your content and further improve the overall battery life. So that is all for the POCO M3 Pro 5G. Thank you for joining in and I'll probably see you next time. Sir, what's the cost of M3 Pro? Sure, let's, let's talk about pricing. Well, before I get to the pricing, let me probably show you how the POCO M3 Pro 5G compares with some of the devices out there in the market. Now here I've got four devices. There's a Samsung M42, Oppo A53, A74, there's a Vivo. Uh, some interesting trends that you see around the board here. One is uh, while M42 with a Snapdragon 750G comes pretty close to the M3 Pro performance, which is good, also has a 90 Hz refresh rate, which is also nice, they have a HD display at 22,000. That just does not make sense. Anyways, let's move to the next one. Oppo A53. You again have the Dimensity 700, but the camera is actually just a 13. So you're getting a 13 megapixel camera with a 60 Hertz HD display, not a full HD, not a 90 Hertz but you pay 15,000 rupees for it. Or the Oppo A74 with a Snapdragon 480 processor. It is far below the performance levels that you see on the Poco M3 Pro. But it luckily does have a full HD panel, so we've got to give that. But for less performance, you have to pay 18,000 rupees starting. And then you have the Vivo Y51A. This has got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 662. You've got a 48 megapixel camera, a full HD panel, which is nice, 60 hertz. Hey, this is looking more like the Poco M3. Oh, but wait, the price is 18,000. So not the M3 Pro. The Vivo Y51 almost reads like the Poco M3, but we know M3 starts at 10,999 for the 6 GB variant while for this one you have to actually pay 18,000. Anyways, I don't think we should be comparing the Y51 with the POCO M3 Pro. Uh, it's more of an M3 comparison. Uh, but if you look at all the others, you are getting HD display or downgraded cameras or you have to pay a lot more, uh, almost 18,000 and onwards. How much should the POCO M3 Pro be? Well, let's talk first about the 4GB, 64GB variant. Now, this is the starting variant that we will have. And always remember, you can expand your storage up to one terabyte uh, with uh, a SD card on the POCO M3 Pro. The 464 variant of the POCO M3 Pro is priced at just 11,863 plus tax, which means 13,999 only. So Anuj, how did you do that? Please tell me this is the early bird price. No, sorry, Angus, this is, these, these are retail uh, prices. We don't really have an early bird price. But did you, did you just, did I hear, Kedo ye jhoot hai? Have you been watching a lot of Hindi movies there? <laughs> Anyways, uh, let me move on to the next. The 6GB variant with 128GB of UFS 2.2 
is going to be starting at a price of just 13558 plus GST which means it's only 15999 now that angus is gone i have another surprise for you guys on the first day which is on the 14th of june on flipkart we are going to give in the early bird pricing yes sorry angus but we're changing terms here you are going to get the 464 and the 6128 at another 500 rupees off there are no hidden terms and conditions here it's a day one launch offer for all our poco fans that's it for the poco m3 pro 5g you've got mad speeds killer looks and frankly the new switchblade design makes the pro look even better it shouldn't be even in this price class but let me just summarize again you have a dimensity 700 based on a 7 nanometer processor You've got a smart display that goes all the way to 90 hertz or comes all the way down to 30 hertz giving you the best possible endurance and content consumption experience you have a 5000 mAh battery and you have support for dual 5g when when 5g comes to india we are going to be ready for it now you can buy this on flipkart starting 14th of june
Haiku Z3, fully loaded. Haiku. Haiku Z3, fully loaded. Haiku. Haiku Z3, fully loaded. Haiku. Haiku Z3, fully loaded. Haiku.
Haiku Z3 fully loaded. Haiku. Haiku Z3 fully loaded. Haiku. Welcome all. In light of the current situation, we have made sure that there was no physical gathering in this launch event. We value the health and safety of our employees and partners. And Aiku India is proud to bring you the launch in a format that has never been seen before. We hope all our fans and viewers are keeping safe, staying indoors and getting themselves vaccinated. Stay strong and let's break the chain. On that note, please join me in welcoming, for the very first time, in a virtual avatar, Gagan Aruda, Marketing Director, IQ India. Thank you. Hello everyone. Thanks for joining us today. On behalf of the IQ India family, I welcome all the viewers for joining us today from different parts of India. Before we proceed further, I would like to announce that as part of a mega giveaway, 30 lucky viewers stand a chance to win the IQ Z3 devices. All you have to do is answer all the six questions that appear on your screen and share the responses on Twitter using hashtags shown below. And don't forget to tag IQ India Twitter handle. IQ, iQuest on and on. More performance, more power, and more innovation. We promise to redefine your smartphone experience with every new smartphone, irrespective of the price point. Few weeks back, we launched the iQ7 series and redefined the flagship smartphone experience with extreme performance, ultra gaming, and flagship camera experience. The iQ7 series was the first smartphone to break the myth that performance-centric phones do not have great cameras. In fact, the camera experience impressed even top photography enthusiasts. IQ7 is the highest rated 5G smartphone on Amazon between 30 to 40,000 segment and the best selling 5G smartphone on day one. This is the testimony of the love we are receiving for the IQ7 series. On behalf of the entire IQ team, I am grateful to all IQ users who have placed their confidence in us. It is also a great responsibility for us to ensure we build and ensure great experiences for our customers and we are continuously working towards that. But that's enough about the IQ7 series. Today, we are going to redefine the mid-range category. Today, we are going to rewrite the definition of performance smartphone for the Gen Z. Let's take a look at this short video. 
Why do I quest? Because endurance makes you sharper. It gives you the strength to move beyond physical pain. Nothing is impossible if you just keep trying harder. I quest to give my all to the game. I'll break boundaries and go beyond for the ultimate win. I am Nero Chopra and I quest on and on. That was Neera Chopra, Indian athlete and Asian Award gold medal winner. And he's a proud Gen Z who does not believe in the path chosen for them by someone else. They don't seek either conventional careers or linear paths. They believe in experiences, learning by trial and errors or simply by experiments. But they hate being regular. They are on a quest to discover themselves and we believe this quest is going to bring out future mavericks, creators, leaders and innovators. Here is a montage and ode to Gen Z mavericks who you love, admire and follow. Let's hear from them why they live life fully loaded. The selfie generation is what they call us. For them we're hangry, lazy and spoiled brats. Who are we really? We don't fit in a box. In fact, there is no box. We ain't just dapper and lit. We carry our sense and wit. We try, we fall, we do it all. They call us Z, but we do everything from A to Z. Our world is flat and round and square. Yeah, say that's rare. We've got the moves, we love the thrill. We're ready to go for the kill. We move, we spin, we play for the win. We're basic, we're extra, we're woke. Forever in vogue. We are Generation Z. Fully loaded. Raise a sharp focus on performance. And redefining experience is what makes us unique. That trend will continue today also. I'm super excited to tell you that just like the iQ7 series, the iQ Z3 is going to be the fastest 5G smartphone in its category. iQ Z3 is going to be the first phone in India to have the Snapdragon 768G 5G processor along with superior camera capabilities. In short, blazing fast performance and future ready connectivity. A fully loaded device. When it comes to gaming, that's fully loaded too. iQ is committed to providing an immersive and unparalleled experience. My friend Shankar will take you through the number of innovations across liquid cooling, haptics or UI which we have integrated in iQ Z3. I am super excited to tell you more about the fully loaded iQ Z3. But Shankar is the right man for the task. So without further delay, let's welcome Shankar on stage. Hello everyone. Thanks for joining us here. So without taking much of your time, let's get started with an exciting new product specially designed for our Gen Z consumers. The iQ Z3. Our definition of a fully loaded smartphone. And this is what it has to offer. The all new iQ Z3 comes with India's first Qualcomm Snapdragon 768 5G mobile platform. This is a 7 nanometer processor. This state of the art chip adopts a three cluster architecture of CPU Cryo 475. It has ultra high prime core with a clock speed of 2.8 GHz to perform all the heavy duty gaming scenarios. Whereas the 2.4 GHz of gold and 1.8 GHz of silver cores are more than enough to run the daily use applications. These dominant frequencies are similar to the flagship level. Snapdragon 768 5G has improved CPU and GPU performance by up to 15% compared to its predecessor, which is Snapdragon 765G. Not just that, it has LPDDR4X RAM, 
and flash memory of UFS 2.2. This perfect trio can boost the overall performance to the next level. And I am thrilled to tell you that IQ Z3 has a score of 4,50,000 plus on Anto 2. And this is a massive jump in terms of performance, which makes it the fastest 5G smartphone in the segment. Along with the great hardware, we have also fine-tuned every technical front through software. To provide great user experience, we are introducing extended RAM technology in IQ Z3 as well. It uses innovative algorithm to use a part of ROM that work as a RAM. Simply put, with this added 3GB, the 8GB RAM can give you the equivalent experience of 11GB of RAM. This ensures a smoother and lag-free experience while retaining up to 20 applications simultaneously in the background. The IQ Z3 is also equipped with 55 watt flash charge technology that can charge up to 50% in just 19 minutes and a full charge in less than an hour. Additionally, it is loaded with a whopping 4400 mAh battery, can give you 12.6 hours of binge watching or 5.8 hours of uninterrupted gaming and the list goes on and on. We talked about the performance. But what is a good performance without a great display? So we have designed the IQ Z3 with an ultra high 120Hz refresh rate display. It is super smooth compared to a normal 60Hz display. Along with that, you are getting DCI P3 white color gamut, HDI10 support and 401 pixel per inch for an immersive visual experience. To summarize performance bit, it has India's first Qualcomm Snapdragon 768 5G mobile platform combined with LPDDR4X and UFS 2.2. The segment leading 55 watt flash charge with whopping 4400 mAh battery. 120Hz refresh rate and extended RAM technology. A powerful chip and a smooth display will definitely help you to boost your gaming performance. But is it enough? For example, in a heavy duty gaming scenario, when you use your phone continuously for a longer period, it tends to get heat up, which lead to the dropping of frames. But with IQ Z3's 5 layer liquid cooling system, you don't have to worry anymore. Let me explain the technology, how it works. So according to the heat transfer path, the heat is mainly generated by the CPU, which is efficiently absorbed by the thermal conductivity gel. And it further transfers the heat evenly through a cooling copper foil covering front and rear side of the motherboard and a 73 mm ultra long liquid cooled copper tube. Finally, the IQ Z3 quickly releases the absorbed heat to the outside through the graphite sheets which has a total area of 5814 mm square. Thanks to its 6 temperature sensor to monitor the heat source inside the mobile phone. With all of this, IQ Z3 core temperature can be reduced by 10 degrees Celsius. Moving ahead, for gamers, we have integrated a 180Hz touch sampling rate. By upgrading both hardware and software, we have optimized the entire process between the moment when a user touches the display and display makes the response. It gives you the lightning touch response of just 8.6 milliseconds. Now every action is ultra responsive to increase the winning possibility in most intense gaming situations. Our software is also ready to excite you with multiple gaming features. And one of them is Eagle Eye Enhancement. It works with local tone mapping, color enhancement, memory color protection and detail sharpening to optimize the effects and gives you an immersive experience while playing the games. Spotting an enemy is much easier than before. During our consumer interactions, we found that when people are making a calls, playing games and swiping microblogs, some areas are always blocked, which leads to a drop in the network signal of mobile phones. 
Thus, the ICO Z3 uses the same level of antenna system as our flagship ICO 7 series, which enhances the mobile phone signal under various grip gestures, such as horizontal and vertical to have a better network connectivity. To summarize the feature that will improve your overall gaming experience, the ICO Z3 comes with 5 flare liquid cooling system, 180Hz touch sampling rate, eagle eye enhancement and all scenario antenna. As we say, ICO stands for extreme performance and ultra gaming experience. But that doesn't mean that user has to compromise on the camera. In fact, we have developed a triple rear camera setup with a 64 megapixel main camera supported by GW3 sensor along with ultra wide angle and macro lens which not only helps you to capture clearer and detailed shots but also provides the super large field of view with 120 degree and enable the user to explore wonderful world with macro lens. Let me show you some of the amazing pictures shot on IQ Z3. On the top of that, we are bringing you the support of some flagship camera features. With IQ Z3, user can record 4K videos at 60 FPS. Now create a striking personalized video with amazing 4K clarity at stable 60 FPS. Experiencing a high definition detail with more stability compared to 4K at 30 FPS. To further improve your videography experience, it has EFB, eye, face and body autofocus tracking. IQ Z3's rear camera can track the object while recording a video with just double tap on it. Our industry leading intelligent AF tracking algorithm is supported by excellent hardware and updated software. It delivers the level of clarity you wish for and lets you enjoy spotlight moments. With IQ Z3, you can now reinvent your night photography as well. Its super night mode uses a new night algorithm to provide you with perfect night shots. And to further improve your low light photos, we have added some amazing light filters as well. Talking about the design, the IQ Z3 is compact and convenient to use. The back of the phone is 3D curved, fits smoothly in the palm of your hand. At the side, the 2.75mm ultra narrow mid frame brings a waistline that symbolizes speed and performance. Whereas the combination of 8.5mm thickness and 185.5 gram weight gives you the ultimate lightweight control. Ico Z3 comes in two striking colors, Ace Black and my favorite Cyber Blue. Now let's see everything that Ico Z3 can do. Aiku Z3 fully loaded. Aiku. Let us recall all the amazing features that Aiku Z3 offers you. Extreme performance with India's first Snapdragon 768 5G, segment leading 55 watt flash chart technology, 120 Hz refresh rate, and extended RAM, along with amazing gaming features like 5 layer liquid cooling system, 180Hz touch sampling rate, eagle eye enhancement which will take your gaming experience to the next level. And in terms of photography, a 64MP triple rear camera accompanied with many professional features 
will truly make it a fully loaded smartphone. Now it's time for the most awaited moment of this launch, price reveal. And to do so, I would like to give the stage to Gagan. Thank you all. That's the fully loaded IQ Z3, delivering extreme performance coupled with ultimate gaming. IQ is committed to India, and we were the first one to bring the Made in India 5G smartphone in 2020. Similarly, IQ is committed to the best experience. We understand that many of you are worried about not having the first hand experience before buying it, not anymore. For the first time ever, we are bringing a 7 day no question asked return policy for IQ Z3 on Amazon.in. If you are not satisfied, we are not satisfied. We offer you a 100% refund guarantee. For more details, you can stay tuned to our official pages. Now, let's reveal the price of IQ Z3. The IQ Z3 will be available in three variants. With 6GB RAM and 128GB storage at just Rs. 19,990. With 8GB RAM and 128GB storage at just Rs. 20,990. With 8GB RAM and 256GB storage at just Rs. 22,990. To sweeten it further, here are the exclusive launch offers. IQ Z3 will be available for purchase on iq.com and amazon.in starting today. So here it is guys, the all new IQ Z3. Thank you for joining us for the launch today. Stay safe. iQuest on and on.